Here we are up in the Bristol Cone National Forest. This is a dead Bristol Cone. There's no foliage on it anymore. But one thing about these trees, they don't cut them down anymore. Because there was a forest ranger about 15 years ago that decided to cut one down and he accidentally cut one of the oldest trees down in the park here. So now they prohibit cutting any firewood, any trees down in here, just so that mistake doesn't happen again. Here's the cousin of this one um, is, looks dead down lower, but as you see, there's foliage still on top. It's still surviving. Um, you can't see the root system down here, but we're gonna go up to another one over there that uh, has a root system ex exposed similar to this. And the reason why the roots are exposed is to, uh, again, to take the moisture from the ground. Um, they get most of their moisture, their uh, ground moisture to keep the tree alive, the dew on the ground in the mornings uh, sustain these trees in the summertime. They get snowpack in the winter that which uh, keeps them alive and it also builds up uh, defenses and uh, these trees have a lot of high density resin in the wood and that prevents insects from feeding on them. We're gonna head up to this one over here and um, check this one out. The birds are squawking at me, telling me to get away from their trees. standing in this root base here where this whole area where I'm at right here is the root structure. These two root systems are dead but you look back farther behind this tree in this area it's very much alive. This whole side of the tree is alive. It's appears to be healthy for a 5,000 year old tree, but most trees go in a decline mode and then they'll get growth spurts, then a decline mode, and then growth spurts. So there's no buddy out there that can tell you this tree is going to die tomorrow because it might have a growth spurt for the next thousand years just in this branch here. So um, the wood is just beautiful up here. We'll take other views of the wood as we go farther, farther. But if you can try to make, there's a trail of, oh, yeah. This tree has grown right on top of the rocks. I don't know if you can see that, but right on top of the rocks. And you look inside and there's pine cones underneath it. And these pine cones have a good chance of growing under there and producing new pine trees well after this thing's dead, if it does decide to die, it'll, it'll birth the pine cones underneath it. So again, dead wood, live wood. This tree's over 3,000 years old. Redwoods only live to about 2,000. The oldest one is 2,500 years old, maybe. They recorded at uh, 2,280 years old. That was about 25 years ago they recorded it. Bristlecone pine trees, as you will see farther down the way, they grow up to or live up to 
5,700 years old. All right.